Hello everybody. Welcome back to Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And you can see we're over here at the grinder. And we're going to uh, show you a tool that I made for the grinder. Now I plan to make one for this grinder also. Uh, and no, I didn't video me making it because it's just, it was a lot of complex stuff that was going to aggravate me if I bloody videoed it. But anyway, I went and dressed this wheel up. Because if y'all remember in the last video I showed this, I had a big groove in there because basically what I do when I'm chamfering, when I cut a bolt off to shorten it, I could stick it in a lathe and lathe it, but I noticed that if I do it in a lathe, the threads ain't right. So basically, I just take and put this up to the side of it, grind it flat, get it nice and straight, and then I'll just take and just chamfer it in that groove. And I'm gonna miss that groove, but, <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to set up for a uh, way to grind bits. And I ground one, that one right there and it did a pretty nice job but uh anyway that was my test piece so anyway let's show you what we got let me put my cigarette away yes i'm smoking because everybody keeps commenting on my smoking so that just makes me want to smoke on video more often so if you decide that you need to complain about my smoking just remember when you complain about my smoking on video, I'm going to smoke that much more. So you're not helping me. You're not saving me. <laughs> so anyway, let me show you what we got. These are all my parts. I didn't take the table back apart. I got a bunch of fingerprints on it. Then that paint don't dry very good. But uh, I made this block. Uh, the piece of steel that come off of that wood splitter I restored for myself and had to sell. And then my bushings and my arms and my slide, my compound or gauge. And I put marks in it, and I'll show you how I've done that. If you notice, there's a mark in the front. And it's not as straight as it should be, but oh well. I know where it's at. And each one of these numbers are in five degree increments. So I've got from one or 90 degree to 45 degree on this. So when this line lines up to this line or groove, then it's whatever it is. So we got 90. So then it's just five degrees, five degrees, five degrees. Keep going until we get to 45 degrees. So that should be good enough. I didn't do a 13 degree. I'm not going to do a 13 degree because I'm never going to do a 13 degree. Uh, so let's uh, set you up here. I've already got my holes drilled for it. And yes, I've already had it mounted. I just took it apart so I can put it together and show you how I did it. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mount this bracket down to it. So we'll mount that down. And I'm using stainless steel screws, 5 sixteenths. I don't like leaving trying to sharpen a bit to chance to whether I got the right angle or if I got the right rake or whatever. So we'll put this on, and that cricket's going to start making a noise while I'm doing the video. That damn thing, there's two or three of them in here. Shut the hell up! <laughs> God, I hate a cricket that frickin' no does nothing but chirp. Now, if I remember correctly, the way I straightened that up to this was... I put that right there against the blade and it's straight right there. So 
so now we'll tighten it down. bracket on so so now we'll take and put this in if I can hit the hole and just one of those so then we'll take this and put it on can put that on so now we can go ahead and put our bushing in and this is tight enough that I have to push it apart to get it to go in that way it won't fall out while I'm trying to put it together so there's that then we'll take this bracket and I'll show you what I made that bracket out of. This here is the box tubing that I used. And I just cut it the length, cut the side out of it, and that's how I got my bracket. All right, so now we can go ahead and put this up on there. Alright, so now we're going to put that in there, and let's check and see what our degrees is. Now, we're not going to get it perfect, but let me tighten that up a little bit. I'm not worried about getting it perfect. I might just get it close and that's about it. That's a little hard to, to get working. All right, that's close enough for me. Well, we're a little off, but I don't care. All right, so now let's tighten these up. And she's pretty solid. Now she's hitting, so there we go. All right, so then, then I made this to slide in that groove, and it's just a hair below the surface. So that way, when I mount the uh, compound on it or the gauge it will lift that up off of the bottom and use the groove side to side to hold it straight so i drilled three holes in these two were already in my metal so i just threaded them and then i made one for the center originally i had it up here like this but i wanted to bring it over here simply because I wanted to make these grooves. 
Now this one here looks wider because I punched it with a uh, letter punch eye to make the mark. It looked terrible, so I went ahead and did the rest of them this way. So then I've got a tapered screw that goes in and screws down on it. And then I'll just use the table to set it straight. All right, so now we've got that. So now we can, we'll have a way to put our bit in there and sharpen it back and forth. So, I think that'll work. Now I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, and I don't. I won't. I don't want to resharpen that, so I'm not going to show you. It. Just know that it does work. So that way I can make bits, and it also helps me out with the new, the other new tool I made, which is this bad boy. I'll put you up here. So I made this thing, and I probably shouldn't have made it so tight. Um, I should have made this so that I could put a set screw in the side of it so I can change this, because I've got that drove in there with a hammer. And uh, basically I just took a socket and put it on top of there and just tapped it down in there, and I couldn't get it all the way down in there. So it's pretty tight, so hopefully... I can get that back out and re ring that hole to make it a little bit, just a hair bigger. But I can use that in here now to dress my wheel back and forth. So let's test that theory out. So, so we just take that in there. turning down uh, that's a nice dressing right there I tried to dress this wheel here this is the wheel that came with my uh, grizzly grinder that I still yet yet to use because I think it's junk uh, and look at that wheel that come from Grizzly. So when you go to put anything against this, it just puts dust everywhere, man. I mean, just it's a junk wheel to start with. So I need to get some real wheels. And this one here has been a good one, but it's getting pretty low. It's probably only a five inch now. It used to be a six inch. But uh, it might be a little less, a little more than five inch. But anyway, that is my table rest or grinder tool rest. And I think that worked out pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I could have put wing nuts on here or ha handles, and I may yet, I don't know. Uh, I could probably make some knurled handles to put on here, this one and this one, 
and turn the bolt around and put the handle on this side. And, uh, or I can just turn this around. I thought about welding this nut to the bracket, weld this nut to this bracket, and then I could put a thumb screw or thumb handle on it. But I think I'd rather have a knurled one that's big enough for me to get a hold of to tighten those down. But it's pretty solid. I'm gonna tell you, my bits didn't like cutting this metal. But that metal started its life out looking like, uh, where'd I put that? Right there, there's the rest of it. It looked like that. It come off of my wood splitter. Because they had it, that, that's the uh, bracket that was used to pivot it on a tractor. So it had a three point, where it could go on a three point hitch. But I cut it down and took a piece out of it to use for that table. But that is my grinder table. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna make another one for the other side. It might not be today or might not be in a year, but it, it'll get another one made. Uh, anyway, you guys have a good one. Later.